Hi, I'm Yapo, and with me still is Olesh. Hello. And this is half two of the HD test video against my nursing or my nursing new team against Roops Jigalettes. This would be your Goonball Five team, correct? Yep. And I have eleven men on the field. He's got eight or nine, nine. And uh, he's up one and receiving the ball, so this is not a good spot for me to be in. But elves and me playing badly. What are you going to do? Well, elves have a tendency to win games. That's very true. It's all that agility for. Also, these particular elves are tougher than I am, since they are dark elves. So not only are they better at handling the ball, they are also better at taking a punch. In theory. This doesn't seem to have been borne out. And the frenzy juggernaut sidestep which elf is back. So, I have to worry about being surf now. What an unusual twist for Norse. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of games you get surfed just because you end up standing close to the sideline, but now I really can't surf back because half his team is sidestep. And that's bad. Lots elves for you. Not a big fan of elves. It's all about positioning. I really enjoy elves just because when you play an elf team, your focus is generally on scoring as much as possible. And it makes the game exciting compared to dwarves who really just want to score once and stop you from scoring. Yeah. That's why dwarves are Hitler. That's true. Dwarves are dwarves and Nurgle. So boring. I just actually played a Nurgle game against C. Knorr and lost to his Nurgles, as a matter of fact. I was watching that. At least that one was exciting. <laughs> yeah, I tend to play Fumble more... just do whatever. I mean, admittedly, you did kind of get beat up. Welcome to Norse. Enjoy your stay. You shouldn't play Norse unless you're willing to die. Exactly. Because that's what Norse do best. I was like, alright, I'm going to try and get some casualties here. Nope. Got to get those punches early before he's in position to score. He's even got tackle. I mean... It's not like that was... Just... The block dice were definitely not on my side this game. If nothing else. Quite a lot of pushes. And, as you will recall, my strip baller got niggled or got missed next game, earlier in the game. The Apothecary couldn't save him. Not entirely, anyways. Would have been super handy, but... Yep. Having a strip baller is really key to dealing with elves. And wrestle. Norse don't get a whole lot of wrestle, though, since everybody starts with block. It's just one of those things you're like, well, I could upgrade a skill that would be slightly redundant, or get something else. Unless you want to put Russell on your walls. But that's silly. It's exceedingly silly. Well, I guess you can get Russell Yeti, but that's even worse. Well, if you're going to spend a double skill on the Yeti, it's not going to be for Russell. Should be for him. Unless you're Bisquicks. Should be for Hail Mary Pass. One agility, ain't no thing. He still has to pick up the ball. I was so proud. I had a Yeti whose very first game he got two casualties and a touchdown. He hasn't done much since then, but that first game was amazing. I'm still particularly proud of my uh, troll with diving tackle. That's just silly. Right. It's amazing because people just don't punch him away. Who has the... Uh, He's the most successful diving tackler. Who has the blodge troll? Oh, hey, look, more skulls. I'm not entirely sure. Hooray. And I still can't get the guy down. Isn't that just awesome? A lot of block. 
Yep. I cannot get... I mean, those were four dice with tackle. You would think that somewhere in there... You would think that somewhere in there you'd at least get a power or a power push. Yeah, but uh, was not meant to be. Nuffle gives us one hand, and Nuffle takes away with all the others. No doubt. Since Nuffle has tentacles. That's Beast and Urgles that have tentacles, though. You think you can get away from Nuffle? I don't think so. No, there is no escape. No escape from the madness. Oh, look, there's finally a pow. Finally a pow. And is there an armor break? No. No. Of course not. Are you kidding? I don't know what I was planning on doing here. I was just like, well... It's, uh, well, that was an agility 3 dodge. With no dodge. That's true. <laughs> he critically failed I mean, he it. He one, so. one in three chance of failing. It wouldn't have mattered anyway. And then classic elf style, looks like he's going for the pass. Nah, yet. He's just going to run down and set up a new cage. But his runner's got the ball, so, you know, that whole dump off thing if I try and block him just makes life worse. Dump off is generally a lot less successful than you might imagine. It's a really nice skill to have, but most people are generally not going to waste a skill upon it. Because it's in passing. I would also like to note that that is a one dice pow. Just, you know, ain't no thing. So, yeah, like I said, less than happy with this game. And the dice. I was being mean to whoop in IRC because I was pissed. Very saucy of you. Yeah, that's that's what happens. Generally, you really shouldn't expect to win against elves whenever you play them. Yeah, that's true, but normally I do better than this. I mean, normally you can at least seriously injure some elves, not a couple of badly hurts. Well, actually, when it really boils down to it, badly hurts what you want to get. Because most people won't blow an apothecary in a badly hurt. Well, he's already spent his apothecary, so now it's just time to kill everyone. You see. You do what you can. And a couple of KOs, which is helpful. Right, but he's going to score, and some of them are going to wake up right away. Yep. And it takes a three dice block for the mighty blow piling on a guy to finally get a pow. Oh, whatever it takes. I'm a little bit surprised you didn't just take the piling on right there. I thought about it, and then I decided I wanted the assist on the foul more. Because I have a bribe. Uh, one of the kickoff events was get the ref. So, my dirty player now gets six assists, so he, he'll break armor, but, uh... Sadly. Didn't actually finish him off. No, I'm just stunned him. The game likes to pick the absolutely worth path, pathing path, for some reason. So I had to go through and manually repath. It's like, alright, four agility, no tackle. We doing this thing. I gotta reroll still. Nope. Nope. We even critically failed the last one. That's nice. So that was my master with his vanity blocks. run another one into the end zone to get to try and level players. Since it's always a good thing we can manage it. Yeah, since he's got 
a 2 plus to catch and a reroll, so it's going to be pretty hard for him to mess that up. And, uh, luckily, he doesn't get his K or too many KOs back, so. It's down to uh, seven players, I believe. Yep. Or no. Hopefully, at this point, you can actually score. It's eight players. Yeah, that would be nice. Throw rock. And luckily for me, that miss next game to his witch elf. No more risk of surfing. Right. It KO'd one of my blitzers, but that's a good trade for me. Well, he's already down so many players that it's just pushing it more in your favor. Well, I think that might have been the mighty blow tackle blitzer. I'm not sure. Which would have been unfortunate. But you still got other guys with tackle. That's true. Got a lot of linemen with tackle. Because basically any linemen on Tournament Norse that get a skill up get tackle. So that's just the way the world works. You're finally actually rolling some POWs. On guys we'll that have to see how long this trend lasts. Don't have dodge. Because that would be too easy. Health players that don't have dodge? Blasphemy. They're unskilled linemen. Well, every elf team has a bunch of them. Because elves like to die. And, uh, you know, when the tackler blitzes, can't get a. can't get a, even a pow push, you know. Just nothing. Well, that's elves for you. I was trying to figure out where I wanted him to be, because he can throw from wherever, so... That's a really nice thing about having a strong arm, accurate thrower. You can actually make the long bombs without being elves. And this is part of the reason I, uh, I pass so much as Norris, is because of this team. I love this team, and I love the passing game that this team has, so... Since I've got a four agility catcher and a guy who's really good at passing, it uh, works pretty well. But and uh, just got diving catch on Odin. You glad I have three agility, so that'll help too. Yeah, he'll actually be able to catch on a two plus now. Uh mm -hmm. It's like he has four agility. We can pretend. And even inaccurate passes will have a chance. Elves don't really throw too many of those, so they don't really worry about it. Yeah, and a plus one to catch doesn't mean anything to elves unless they're in a tackle zone. Right. Diving catch is, is some really of a gimmick. I don't even think it's all that much of a gimmick. It's kind of like extra arms. You take it on someone who can benefit from it. And you want to specialize your players, you do it that way. Yeah, but extra arms gives you a plus one on pass, catch, pick up, and intercept. Uh, diving catch gives you a plus one on catch. Also lets you catch inaccurate passes. I mean, it's... but you can do some really funky things. Like I know on uh, fumble, you can actually kick to yourself if you have diving catch players. If the ball would land on the line of scrimmage and you've got a guy within range, he can just grab it. That would require me to have so a guy sure on the line of scrimmage, though. And as Norris, that's not a thing I want to have happen. Oh look, POWs on the unskilled guys. Isn't this great fun? Well, it'd be more great if you actually, you know, injured them. Yeah. Yes, it would. But that's too much to ask. Unfortunately, it looks like putting your guy over on the sidelines didn't really work out because he was able to box in his forward progress. Uh, I got this still. Yeah, but right now he looks like he's just trying to delay you. He's like, all right. He'll win if he can just stop guy. the storm twice. All right, I need this guy down so I can go score. Because I'm down two at this point. I got to score fast and then hope he messes up. And I can steal it back. So now he's got a relatively open path to the uh, end zone. 
He still has to dodge past the guy, though. He's for agility, and the guy doesn't have tackle. He's fine. Oh, I figured that was a prelude to a double stall. No, and uh, and two going for it, even. Like, I was just like, screw it, I gotta make this. So, just went for it. And it worked out. And uh, I would appreciate it, anyone who watches this, you know, take the time, tell me if you prefer this or the regular def, or if it's worth the extra effort of getting high def. Things like that. Um, anyhow, I tried to set up a really shallow screen here so I could potentially get the ball back in a hurry. It's always a risk with elves, unfortunately. Yeah, and he's not that much faster than I am. Most of his guys are movement six or seven, so a shallow screen isn't as much of a deal breaker. No, it's not like playing against Skaven where you absolutely have to have safeties. Because it will open a hole in your lines and they will get people into your backfield. And every single player can outrun you. That's true. Um, as far as Dark Elves go, I believe Random Haji actually has a strong arm Dark Elf. Uh, one of his runners, because they got doubles, and we convinced him to take that. So he's developing a Dark Elf passing game, which is somewhat of a rarity, since Dark Elves are designed to be runners. Uh, well, they have runners have passing access, but they don't start with pass, so a lot of people just sort of get confused and don't realize that they could build a passing game. Well, they can, but, I mean, they're not... Dark Elves are the bashiest elves. They're not suited quite so well for passing... Well, Dark Elves are really just High Elves with a couple different players. Instead of Passers, they have Runners with Dump Off, um, who are otherwise identical. And then their Blitzers are, you know, are the same, their linemen are the same. And instead of, you know, the Throwers, they have Witch Elves. So they do have a more running bent, but every Elf team is a passing team. Right, but the point is, if you wanted a passing Elf team, you would play one of the other Elves that specialize in passing. Instead of Dark Elves. We specialize in running. I mean, that's kind of... It's like, alright, I totally got this. Because I'm pretty sure that's my tackle berserker over there. No, that's the guard one. Okay, maybe you don't get this, but... I get at least four dice on him. Nope. Push. Always push. And now he'll get away from that whole mess so he can dodge out later. But you finally get the pow. Yep. I was like, alright, this game is looking up. Oh shit. Alright, it's in three tackle zones, two tackle zones. And I've already used my blitz. At this point, I'm guessing you're just going to throw as many tackle zones on the ball as you can. Or... not? It's like a 4 plus pickup. Uh, I for some reason thought I still had a reroll at this point. I'm not entirely sure why. And I don't know why I ran him this direction. Uh, this game is kind of painful to watch. Because I do a lot of stupid things. And Cyanide's pathing is kind of dumb. Oh, that was unfortunate. And the scatter wasn't that great for me either. So yeah, I totally got... I mean, at least all his elves are packed in there with a wall of dudes. And you've got guard on them. It's like, yes. That's what I want to see. And you're both out of rerolls. That was... I believe added some tackle zones, and then he picks up in one TZ. And then... 
and just runs away. Because elves. Because elves. And now all you guys are stuck in. Yeah. One dice block. Dodge with no dodge. Or two dodges. Pick up an attack zone, you know. Ain't no thing. Damn elves. I hate them. And sidestep, so I don't even get to chain push. I was like, alright, how do I get a tackler onto that guy without having to dodge? It's like, I know. You can start by punching elves. Oh, that's the guy with tackle, and he was four spaces away, and now he's three spaces away. At least I'm finally getting some POWs. That's helpful. Although that one was kind of a block that didn't matter. I was like, alright. Tackler. I can totally get those dice. Did you guys block? Yeah. No. No. Never. Never ever knock down a ball carrier. This is like some, probably some of the worst blocking I've had in a long, long time. So I got the skills to, you know, take down dodge, but it just never happens. Well, every once in a while someone loses to halflings. It's going to happen. That's been me before. It's like, alright, it's turn 15. Just in case, I'm going to run a guy back so he can score. That will never happen, but, you know, it could, maybe. And you've even got the passer to make it happen if it does. I do. He is a good passer, but... Unfortunately, at this point, he's just got a... It's like, alright, one a, going uh, for it to mark him. dodge away. Nope. Going for it. Well, yeah, he's got a 2 plus dodge, and I at least have tackle on the one guy, but 2 plus dodges aren't that, or 2 plus rolls aren't that hard. Despite nope, what? Just 1 in 6 chance. That going for it might have indicated. Going for it's a guarantee to fail. Every time when you need them to succeed. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so this game is done. I mean, I got one more turn to punch him, but. This game is done. This is what happens when you play poorly against elves. And he's apologizing for rolling 1db fast because I was giving him shit in IRC the whole time. And was being mad at him. Because, you know, getting mad about video games helps. That's a key part of the strategy. Mm -hmm. That's a blood bowl. And wrestle. Can't even do that right. Oh, they're in the pals. Oh. You can punch an unskilled lineman. I think that guy actually has some skill. And he got knocked out, so... Hooray. It would have been helpful if it happened earlier. Mm -hmm. I was like, alright. I'm pissed off enough at this game. I'm gonna do my pass, and then I'm gonna go spite foul. Oh, the turn 16 spite foul. You are a bad, bad man. I was very annoyed with this game at this point. So I was loading it up. I was like, all right, I got a dirty player. We doing this. Elves deserve to die. And since he's got dirty player, he's guaranteed to break armor. Just what he rolls on the armor break. More chaos. I'm aware that that was wildly inappropriate, but hey, you broke armor. Yeah, I told you it's guaranteed. Anyhow, so that's me losing horribly to real dark elves. Uh, no levels because 
teams at high team value don't get levels as quickly as those at low. So. And it's a lot harder to uh, to actually get the the star player points on the people who need them. Yep. And uh, so there's the demo. Let me know what you think of the uh, HD.